what sort of person uses a Mini with drum brakes as their tow vehicle for a car trailer? Well, that was 40 years ago, and I had a bit of learning to do. When it comes to putting a floor in a car trailer, there's a wide variety of materials available. In the past, I've used timber strips and I've seen full timber floors used in, uh, in late model builds. I would never use timber again. I found it absolutely too heavy and uh, the other thing I'd never do is I'd never fill a floor of a car trailer in completely because my friends warned me that when you do that it tends to turn it into a large box trailer People either want to borrow it when they're moving or it sits in your backyard and you start piling junk up on it and you know where that goes. So timber, as far as I'm concerned, is not a good option. But scaffolding and building planks made from aluminium 
are a fairly common choice amongst car club enthusiasts for trailer floors. It's cheap, it's light. The main disadvantage I find is those planks tend to be fairly narrow. So you tend, if you use that stuff, if you're only using one plank, you tend to make the trailer planks the width of your car and then when you go to put something else on it the danger is the wheelbase is different and it doesn't fit. But it's certainly a good material. Now before we leave scaffolding planks you can get very thin sheet metal scaffolding planks and I've used them in the past. Uh, it's like an expanded mesh. Um, not quite an expanded mesh, it's still a sheet metal but it's got expanded grooves in it so that uh, on the scaffolding the workers feet don't slip when it's wet and it does make a very good car trailer floor. It's very lightweight, it's strong enough for most cars. The only disadvantage is it comes in, well, the width of a scaffold plank and once again you've got to use two strips of it. But if you want to build a very lightweight car trailer for a lightweight car, that sheet metal expanded um, scaffolding is certainly worth a look. Having certainly built more than one car trailer down through the decades, uh, I like to make my car trailer floors out of steel. Now in the past I have put 50mm angle where the inside edge is and then just cut strips of steel and put them in, inside, sheet metal steel. Um, but the, the advantage of this is it gives you an inside edge so the wheels won't fall off and you don't worry about it and uh, if you get out of square as you're loading it, the car it'll keep the car on the trailer and the wheels won't fall off it. Um, but the disadvantage of this is adding angle iron adds weight and I found that as my uh, preferred material is 2.1 mil thick checker plate flooring because of its grip and its lightweight and its strength when I buy it from the steel merchant instead of using the, the angle to get that lip on the inside what I do now is I find a steel merchant who can cut it which saves you quite a long time and gives you a perfectly straight cut when it's done by a, a, a guillotine. And secondly, I ask them to bend one edge up to give me that, that lip on the inside to keep the car on the trailer. I've just had the sheet metal cut for this. I had to buy two sheets, 2.4 by 12. I basically cut them in half and made four strips bending the edges up for me. Let's have a look at it. How neat does that look? The strips have got that 50mm lip bent up on the inside done by the metal merchant and they're 500mm wide and that width means that I can put a wide variety of cars with different wheelbases and tracks on this, on this trailer with big tyres or little tyres. I reckon I could get anything from a golf car to a four wheel drive on this. If you had no access to welding you could just hold this down with sheet metal screws but they wouldn't be very strong. Welding is clearly going to give the greatest strength not just to the floor but the floor is going to strengthen the whole of the chassis of the car trailer as well. And the method that I'm going to use is I'm going to put edge welds where the cross beams are on the frame of the chassis and then where the cross beams run underneath the floor I'll drill out large holes about the size of my thumb and I'll plug weld it. So that'll give me very strong adhesion 